The Duchess of Cornwall has secretly switched to wearing fake fur hats after being hit by a barrage of criticism for sporting an ostentatious real fur hat. I can reveal. The Duchess was roundly berated for the real fur Russian style hat she wore at the royal family's Sandringham Christmas Day church service in 2010. Since then, she has bought six bespoke fake fur trimmed hats from upmarket firm Lock and Company and was seen proudly wearing one at this year's Christmas service. After the 2010 service, the Duchess was blasted here and abroad, including by the Mail on Sunday's Liz Jones, who wrote, What a slap in the face to the animal loving British public. The wearing by a royal family of a product that's deemed too cruel to be produced in this country, for farms were banned here in 2000, is simply unacceptable. The animal rights group Animal Aid described her choice as an ostentatious display of cruelty that says something unpleasant about the person wearing it. The offending Russian style hat was apparently made from vintage for that belonged to her grandmother and was upcycled by milliner Philip Tracy, but the criticism stung. Her new fake fur hats are all the same design but come in a variety of colors including deep pink, black, brown, slate and tweed. A Lock & Company spokeswoman said, Camilla is a customer. The hats are a bespoke order with faux fur trim. The hat sits low on the head and keeps you warm. It's quite water resistant and good for winter. The hat is similar to the company's estate model, but Camilla's versions do not have a particular name as they are a bespoke order. Lock & Company, based in London's smart St. James Street, boasts a royal warrant as hatter to the Duke of Edinburgh and Prince Charles. A fox fur trimmed hat sells for £645 at the store. The Duchess's red hat last week matched a bright military style code by Roy Allen. She has worn the other fake fur hats at the recent Grenfell Tower Memorial at St. Paul's Cathedral, an official visit to Denmark, and countryside events. Aberkingham Palace spokesman refused to say whether this meant that Camilla and other royals have given up for for good. But with Prince Harry foregoing his beloved Boxing Day hunt, are we witnessing a significant change in attitude among the royal family? It promises to be a happy 2018 for Dame Joan Collins as she finally moves back into her own home after a year living out of a suitcase. Joan, 84, took refuge at Claridge's Hotel when the ceiling of her Belgravia flat collapsed last January and neighbors started noisy building works. Renovations now complete, the dynasty star can move back into the pound's 3 million property. There's no place like home, eh Joan? 2017 scandals and scoops, test yourself on the secrets I revealed Prince Harry was planning a romantic getaway with Meghan Markle. We're two. Pippa Middleton and James Matthews kiss after their wedding at St. Mark's Church in Englefield who is the unlikely friend of literary giant Sir Salman Rushdie. In what type of car did I spot Oscar-winning Sir Mark Rylance being whisked away from the stage door? A. Top of the range Bentley with blacked out windows Adele has houses in London and La, but where did she buy a pound's four million mansion? Adele has houses in London and La. But where did she buy a pound's four million mansion? Pippa Middleton married James Matthews, in set left. What rule did she instigate to keep down numbers? A no ring, no bring, engaged or married partners, only who did party loving Princess Eugenie beg to be allowed, go to Glastonbury this summer. Which celebrity child bowled out James Stunt in a charity cricket match? Which Jeremy said women should be glad to get out of the house after the BBC gender pay row. Which Jeremy said women should be glad to get out of the house after the BBC gender pay row.
Rocker and cheese fan Alex James falsely claimed DJ Fatboy Slim's loud music killed 24 of his pets. What were they? Taylor Swift, right, is known for her slim figure, but what dish was named after her when she filmed in a London takeaway? Which royal is gym buddies with grime star Stormzy at the Chelsea Harbour Club? In July I said that Prince Harry would guest edit a BBC show at Christmas. Which one was it? How girl about town are you? Two and under, I think you are in the wrong place. Try the sports pages. Three to five, good effort, but I won't bump into you on the red carpet. SIX or seven, you are obviously used to sipping bubbly, but more Prosecco than champagne. Eight or more, I'm impressed. You are an A-plus girl about town. I look forward to rubbing shoulders with you at my favorite haunts, Jan the 100, February B, Mar C, April C, May A, June B, July A, August B, September B, October C, November B, December A. People used to say you are this bumbling Englishman, but I'm not, I'm quite a nasty, poisonous piece of work. Careful, Hugh Grant. Did you really mean to be so honest during the BAFTA of Life in Pictures talk? I like a sing along, but have to tone it down in church because I bellow a bit and my husband says, Oi, I'm the singer. Penny Lancaster reveals that hubby Sir Rod Stewart doesn't like being upstaged, even in church, at a Chain of Hope concert. If you weren't starstruck by Lauren Bacall she'd have struck you. Me and my husband smelled cannabis in a cupboard in our house. We put a lavender sponge in there, so now we smell of old ladies. Dr. Foster star Soren Jones admits she panicked when she noticed a mysterious fong in her new home. I wouldn't expect to earn as much as Simon Cowell. I'm probably not on the same as David Williams either. It doesn't bother me. I've always said I'd be willing to do it for a tenor. Amanda Holden, star of Britain's Got Talent, fails to do her bid for equality.